Swedish-American author Nathan Englander's latest novel, Kaddish.com, is shining light on the merge between the ancient and the modern. The protagonist, Larry, has outsourced his traditional Jewish obligation of saying the Kaddish, the mourner's prayer, for his father through a website called Kaddish.com. Years later, Larry comes back to the fold and goes on a journey of redemption, trying to track down the man he paid to replace him to perform this sacred ritual. Kaddish.com is the book. It's really about a guy who didn't say Kaddish for his father, and that hits him 20 years later of what it means, you know, not to have done that. And again, with everything with me, it sounds dark, and then hopefully you're laughing. The story is an allegory for a culture deeply rooted in the past, trying to navigate its way in the modern world. I grew up, you know, super religious. We had these concepts of, you know, heaven and hell and God, you know, these notions that the rabbis are always trying to instill in you and hammer into you. I guess I really just was looking back, you know, at the sacred and the profane. That boundary obsesses me, like that tortured, you know, I inhabit both worlds. I'm always wrestling with identity, and so many people do inhabit both worlds, and that's what I wanted to look at in this book. In search of redemption, the story's protagonist eventually finds himself in Jerusalem, mirroring a chapter in Englander's own life. Jerusalem is a place of opposites, I feel like. So many people, they know the story of their friends who went there and got super religious and went to yeshiva. For me, it was a transformation the other way. Like, when I, I was Shomer Shabbat, like, till my first week in Israel. For me, that was like, it was a it was the first time I saw culturally functioning Jews in a certain way, and to see this, so I, it, it put all these things that I was searching for together. Englander's last novel, released over a year ago, grapples with the Palestinian-Israeli conflict and the characters caught on the fault lines. The one weird thing about, you know, touring a book on Israel-Palestine that's literally a hunk of the book is set on the Gaza border is this notion that I can't even tell you, uh, I just got back from the West Coast last night, how many... Oh, I've been touring this book for more than a year. I've been on the road touring and touring. I can't tell you how many nights I get up on stage and there's just been Gaza border conflict. As he toured as a Jewish author in the wake of the deadly October attack in a synagogue in Pittsburgh, when 11 people were killed and seven injured. Now I need, you know, uh, armed support to make sure my readings are secure, like, you know, you know, because I'm Jewish. That's heartbreaking. Now Englander hopes his new novel will continue to resonate with readers from all walks of life.